Hello, and welcome to this video. Uh, we're looking at another area maze. In fact, we're looking at the, the craziest one I've ever seen. Um, and it was mentioned in a Guardian article from ages ago, and uh, so I'll post that in the description as well. Uh, what we have here is we have all these rectangles, and we're trying to find, we just get given this length at the top, and we're trying to find this area, the area of this guy over here. Uh, which is kind of crazy. And the key thing is we're not allowed to use fractions. We're only allowed to use integers. So if at any point we're using a fraction, something is going wrong. So we're trying to solve this whole puzzle with absolutely no fractions, just logic. So I'm uh, not sure how long it's going to take. We're just going to try and do it. What I would suggest you doing is pause the video. You can get the uh, a picture of this in the description below. Try it yourself first and then come back and see how well I got on. No idea how long this will take, but let's see what happens. Okay, so how are we gonna start? Well, if that length is seven, this length has to be five, because it's gonna make 35, which means that this length is also five, so this length is four. Now, if that length is four, this length down here is also four. Now, why is that useful? Because we can see that the area of this guy is half the area of this guy. And because they share one side here, this length has to be twice this length. So this is going to be eight. This whole length here is going to be eight. Now, if you just think about that again, whatever this length x is, x times four equals 21, and x times something equals something twice as big as 21. So it has to be two lots of four. You can imagine you can fit two lots of these 21s in here. Four and four, and so overall it's eight. Uh, okay, so that length is eight. What else we got? Well, that gives us that this length is eight, and that gives us that this length is nine. So then this length is nine, which is the same as this length, which is nine, so this guy is five. And look, already we've got one of our lengths. This length is five dreams okay that's good uh but eventually we're gonna need to work our way all the way around to find anything else now what on earth can i do next what on earth can i do next um where else can i use knowledge so this length is eight that's not helpful to us um, that length was five, this length was nine. How am I I'm moving on from here? Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Down here. Oh, yes. I need to <laughs> zoom out sometimes. So, this length is also five. And because these two rectangles, this this one and this one, are both the same area and share one length, this one also has to be five. Because five times whatever this is is 16, so this times five has to be 16. So this length is five, so this length is eight. That length is eight, which is good because then this length, ah, okay, that's a bit ugly. Let's get rid of that. That's fine. This length is also eight, and this length therefore is four, because four times eight. Okay, where does this leave us? Well, we can see that this length is also four, and this length is also four, and this length is also four, which is good, because finally we get that this length is five. Um, moving along, this length is the same as this one, which is not helpful, but also the same as this one, which is five, which means that this length has to be five, because five times five is 25. So this guy is five. And look, this length has to be the same as this length, just like with the 16s below, five times whatever is 21, so that whatever times five has to equal 21. So this length is five, which gives us that this length is also five, which gives us this whole length has to be six, because five times six is 30, so this is six, which gives us that this length is six, so this length is seven. What an absolute journey we're going on here. Okay, what else can we do? That's seven. Uh, no, no, no. This is seven. 
And just like we did with the 21s and the 16s, this one also has to be 7 because these have the same area and share this length. So that's 7 and that's 7. How does that help us? Well, that gives us that this 7. So this guy is 4. So this guy is 4, which means that this guy is 2 because we know the whole length is actually 6. So if this length is 2, this length is 6, for this is 12. One absolute journey we're going on here. And if this is 6, this guy is 9. You can see what I'm doing here is I'm just working out what can I know and hoping that it gets me all the way around this amazing puzzle. So if that's 9, this length also 9, this length therefore is 4, and so this length is 3 because all together has to make 7. Uh, okay, so um, where where were we? We had, I think we had that 4 times 9 was 36, and so we found this length was 3, and this length is 4. Okay, what can we do here? Hmm. What can we do here? That's eight. This thing is nine. Hmm. What can we do here? I'm looking at this. This bit is three. This bit is two. Oh, okay, this is interesting. So this is four and this is two. And if we look at this rectangle here, this rectangle has to be half of the rectangle above because its base length is 2, but this one is 4, and they share one length, which is 6. So this whole thing must be 14. So this area has to be 2. Yeah, that area has to be 2 because 2 plus 12 is 14. We know that this length is 2, so this length has to be 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. This length is 4, so this length is 4. So this length is 5, so that means this length is 5, and then this length is 3. Nice, okay, nice. Let's go back to red. That was nice, nice, because I, I was thinking that it was a bit cheeky, but this length did look like this length, which was 3, but we had to prove it properly, so I'm glad we did. Okay, the journey continues. What we got? We got this whole length is 7, 4 plus 3, so this length is 3, which means that this length is 6. So then this length is 6, so then this length is 4. Uh, oh, this length is 4, so this length is 3. And then zooming on down, ignore the 20, this length is 3, so this length is 9. And remember, that's because 3 times 9 is 27. 9 times 5 is 45. 5 times 4 is 20. Oh, we're absolutely on a roll. That's 4. How can we use these 15s? How can we use this 36? Um, okay, this is 9. Could we go across and use that? Oh, look. This is a 9 as well. Because it's the same length as this, because this is all one straight line. This guy. So that's a 9. So this is 4. And that doesn't help us. Yet. Yet. Doesn't help us yet. Uh, what other good stuff can we do? There's something something going on on this side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Look, look, look. This is 4. So this length, what does this length have to be? Well, these two rectangles share one line there. And this area is, area of B is twice the area of A. So this length has to be 8. Because 4 times, if 4x is 15, 8x has to be 30. Nice. Uh, we don't even need that algebra, but that we can think about it like that. And then going across, that means that this length is 8. Wait, does that help us at all? 
42 is not even in the 8 times tables. Oh wait, that, that doesn't help us. Does that, does that help us? Oh, I don't think that helps us actually. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, um, maybe that's 8, so this is 1. No, that, that, that's not useful. Okay, remember we can't use fractions for anything. So uh, I don't want to be thinking about fractions because I could do some like hmm, some simultaneous equation stuff. But we don't do that. Oh, we want such such a such a role. Where do I go from here? That's four. That's thirty. <laughs> Okay, bit stumped, but that's fine. This guy was five, this guy was three. Can we add them together? Together that makes 80, 72, half of which is 36, which is this shape. That's not that useful. Mm. Okay, I'm stumped. Fine. I just need to get back into my flow. So we had 3 times 9 is 27, 9 times 5 was 45, 5 times 4 was 20, and then we got a bit stumped. We went here. Instead of this is 4, this has to be 8. But 42 is not in the 8 times table. Hmm. Like, we know that this this is 4, and this is also 8, so this is 30, and this area here is 12. So this area here is 6. Okay. Okay. We have actually done something there. Let me just, let me just play that back. I split this 42. I did the same thing, 15 and 30, 15 and 30. So I split this area into 30 and 12. And if that's 12, then we can halve it to get this area this area being 6. But that means we have a rectangle here, this guy, with an area of 36. Don't know if this is going to help us, but this area, that is, yeah, let's do it in purple, this area altogether is 36, which is exactly the same as this area here. And if the area is the same and they share a length, this length also has to be 4. These are identical to each other. Okay, if that's four, then does that help us? Did I know that anyway, actually? This length is nine. Did I know that anyway? Oh, I could have done that anyway. Look at the bottom. This shape is 72, and 72 is eight times nine, so I actually knew that anyway. Still, okay, how does that help us? That's four, so this length is four. This guy is four. So this guy is four. Okay, and look, this length is 8, 4 plus 4, so this length is 8, and now we are getting somewhere. That's 8, so that's 8. 56 in the 8 times table, it's 8 times 7. This length is 7. This length is 7. Okay, we're back in the swing of things. This length is 5. 5. 5. How do we use that? Well, this length is 5. Uh, okay, this bit's 5, which the whole bit's 9, which means that this bit has to be 4, because this bit's 5 and together make 9. So this bit's 4, so this bit is 3, look, so that's 3, that's 3, that is 7, and that doesn't quite help us yet. We also know that this is 3 which doesn't doesn't help us yet but we're we're getting we're getting near we're getting near uh we're getting near so what can we do with that seven this is also seven. Oh look this is seven okay we know that because this length is seven and now this area is 20 this area is 40 this that means 
because they share one length, we've done this, this pattern of problem solving before, 7 times something is 20, so 14 times that, some, that same length is going to give me 40. So that length is 14, which means that this length is 5, because 5 add 9 is 14. So that means this length is also 5. Okay, we're getting, we're getting there. Because that's 5 times 5, that's 25, which means this length is 5. <laughs> so this length is also 5. So this length down here is 1. Not sure that helps us massively. Uh, does that help us? Does that help us? We're so close. We just need to... Hmm. Can't find this length because it's a fraction, so it's not going to be useful to us. Where do we go? Where do we go now? What is the end of this puzzle? It's at this point that I would usually leave something and come back to it later. But I can't. <laughs> Look, this is why, obviously, if we were dealing with fractions, it would be easy. Because you just do 5 times 4.4, whatever. That bit's 4.4. You could find, like, if this is 5, you know that this length is. Three, you could find what this length is. Why is there a five in there? I don't know that. There's gonna be one last clever thing. Wait. Could we prove that this is twice as big? What's this area? You know what? You know what? You know what? I maybe... Okay, let's look at this rectangle. This one. What's the area of this rectangle? It's 40 plus 25 plus 36 plus this bit, which is 4 times 1, plus this bit which is 5 times 1. Altogether, this equals... Please, could this have worked? Uh, okay. 40, 25. Let's just add these. 10, t no. Maybe? Oh, my word. 110? Oh, <gasps> we've done it. Okay. This whole thing's 110. This is 110. And look, it shares a length with this. Which means that this one, 55, is half 110. So if this length is 14, this length is 7. Yes, yes. Because 55 is half of 110. So this length is 7. So this length is 7. And we're done. This guy is 35. 7 times 5. Yes. Okay. Thanks for watching. I know you could do that last bit differently because that, that was, yes, but that was hard in the end. There must be a better way to do that last bit. Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more content like this, we did some easier area builder stuff in another video. We're gonna do some slightly different area builder, area maze stuff later, love it. Links for more practice for this stuff down below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day.